I think it went really good. I mean, it was good to see everybody again. It was good to see Colton again, I guess. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think it went really well. Uh, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> Hannah Beast didn't come out, right? I know. We kind of kept Hannah Beast in my back pocket, but I'm not sure she'll come out someday, sometime. Were you surprised by how much she came out during the season? Uh, no. <laughs> the Beast had to be unleashed through all that. Let me just tell you, the girls are crazy. I'm actually almost surprised tonight when your girl had a pacifier. Now, now, when that happened, I, I wanted to see how Demi reacted because I knew I have to have my girl's back. So if she was about to go crazy, then I knew I was going to have to like start taking off the jewelry <laughs> and back her up. So yeah, that was not cool. She was just tossing like the pacifiers and not that she would not cool that was my girl not cool yeah but she handled herself well i was proud of her yeah i don't know if i would have handled myself that well they brought you up in terms of the talk about the next bachelorette and there's still no you know kind of final say on that you know so what is your takeaway from that i know what was said to me katie and caitlin know exactly what happened but i don't have any reason not to trust katie she is one of my really good friends um and unfortunately, it is just a lot of she said, she said. Were you yeah. kind of shocked, you know, when you saw the decision Kathy made, you know, at Fantasy? Were, is no. that something you kind of sensed in her as well? Yeah, oh, I did. Really? Yeah. I, you know, watching it back, I mean, I, it was very clear to me she ne that she wasn't as ready. Yeah. It was hard for Colton, but, I mean, he wasn't, she wasn't feeling it. Yeah. So I'm interested to see how the rest of the season goes. And, you know how she if she comes to him yeah. or not and it's like how can she i don't know you know bachelor in paradise is always an option too yeah if it was is there any guy in bachelor nation currently that you're like oh i could you know maybe want to grab a drink with him at the bar i don't i don't think so i honestly don't know how to handle my social media right now like i'm not a like big like the whole like not fame but like attention part like yes i did pageants but that's totally different than this yeah freaks me out like that is not why i did this like i was very serious about the whole thing so so with the instagram stuff i don't know how to handle the dms i'm like how do you go through them What's i don't the weirdest know one you've got? i don't know if i can answer that <laughs> There's some weird people in this world. <laughs> Obviously, your first one-on-one, -on -one, everyone talks about the toast. It was, it was great. Is you like, well, you did pageants and answered questions on stage. Are you ever just like, they never had to oh, do with <laughs> But no, it, it, that was probably the thing that bothered me more than anything from the whole season was oh, really? people questioning my intelligence from that. Yeah. Because I am an intelligent person. I could kill a freaking onstage question. <laughs> so don't get me on that. I think in that moment, I, I did, I just froze, but it was more so, I wasn't ready to be vulnerable in any type of way with him. I was so aware of my, hyper aware of my environment. I wasn't ready for the first one-on-one. -on -one. I, was, I was thankful, but ultimately not ready to be myself around him. And I think, unfortunately, it was a simple toast, but that was the moment it really hit me. Yeah. And I can put words together and make a sentence, but right there, I didn't.